Hello, my name's Kevin. This is Leatherneck Prepper. YouTube says I'm not allowed to take this apart and show you how it works, how to clean it. I'm therefore going to do it anyways. This is a Sig Sauer Legion P229. This is a secondary model, newest model, which has a 229-1 type of barrel and magazine. You can see right here the magazine. 229-1. Magazine's empty, so let's just move it out of the way. Gun is clear. Now this gun is extremely tight. I haven't shot it that much. I've been having some issues with it, which is why I took it back out to the range today. Come to find out, it has been the ammunition that I was shooting that was giving me all the trouble. So I put 200 rounds through it today, not one issue. Same way with another gun that I'm going to do a review on here in a little bit and put up it again later. So like I said, this is a six hour P229-1 Legion. It's in the Legion Gray. It's got the Legion grips. You can always tell because of the color and Legion symbol right here. All right, so let's strip this thing apart. <clears throat> Make sure it's safety checked. You're going to drop your release, drop your slide. Sorry about that. What I've done on this is it had a really small, get around right here, get some light on it, and an extremely small slide release. I put the one that comes on the Elite on it. So I believe I showed a video on me doing that. So let's just set this off the side for the time being. This denotes the weight spring. It's white. Don't ask me what, uh, what the weight is on it because I just don't know. It says a metal solid guide rod. I like the solid versus the hollow. <clears throat> this 200 rounds, I'm not going to do anything other than just look at it. I'm not going to wipe it down and re oil it. It's no point. Just pull your barrel out. Do a brief inspection of the weapon. Just looking for any cracks, flaws. It may look out of the ordinary. And I'm not seeing anything crazy. So this particular model also has the relief cut for the... Uh, oh, Dad burned it. I can't think of what it's called now. You just call it relief cut for the site. All right, so first thing I do, take my barrel... Now wipe it down. Starting out like this, just gets all the big crap off of it. And this is going to be a little bit longer of a video, so feel free to fast forward anytime you want. Wipe down, then I always take my thingy here, put a pad in it. Squirt a little hops on it. Run it through my barrel. And then I'm going to run it through my barrel again. And then I'm going to run it through my barrel again. I want to get as much of this liquid in here as I can. Because I want to start tearing up, dissolving any debris that might be in there. And I save this. Why do I save that for you, you might ask? Well, while the barrel is sitting here, having the <clears throat> solvent do its work, penetrating, that's it, penetrating, I'm going to take this one that's already been used and start wiping crap all the down. Basically, I'm trying to wipe all the big stuff off. You see how dirty that's already gotten. Just wipe through here. Now for, this is not a carry gun for me because it is a legion. And we all know that if you use it to, to defend yourself, you're going to hand it over to the police and you'll be lucky to get it back. And I'm not giving them my guns. Find, it, find its way in somebody's collection. Wipe down inside of here. Just wipe down inside there. I'm not having the best day with my cognitive functions. Take my 
brush, get along in the rails. Flip to the other side, get along in the rails. Get my brush back down in here. I'll clean as much of this as I can out. Just a couple hundred rounds. It's not going to be too awful dirty. So I'm not really that concerned with uh, a whole lot of filth and grime and crap. It shouldn't be too bad. Let's get another one. Wipe down in here. Just give it a good wipe down across the board. Wipe across the front here. You notice that I'm not really using it all that much. But I'm not seeing any real wear, which has been, from my understanding, an issue with the Legion's Cerakote. So I'm not getting a lot of wear, excessive wear on it. That's me. And I guess some of it might depend on just how you carry it. How often do you carry it? Do you beat it around? You can see how it's much cleaner down here than what it was. Trying to get some light on it. That's better. So, yeah, I'm happy with that. So now that that's done, let's get that set out of the way. Let's just take a look at this the lower portion. Not seeing anything really spectacular on this. Some crap right there. So let's take this dirty pad. Just kind of wipe it down some here. One thing I like to do when I'm lubing one up, I always, always, anything, any place you see shiny put lube on it so like right here it rides put lube on it for a long time i used wheel bearing grease just oh what kind did i have it was uh synthetic it was, who was that manufacturer? It came out of Advanced Auto Parts. So Advanced Auto Parts, and it worked great until it gets cold. Then it wants to gum up. So bear that in mind. The rails look good. I'm just gonna wipe them down. Like I said, I only had a couple hundred rounds through it, so I'm not too awfully concerned with it being perfect. Now let's get to the barrel. I'm gonna readjust this camera just a little bit. That's better. Wipe this down, wipe all that down in here. Where it connects. Again, you can see the 229. Let me get on this side. 229-1 barrel. That's how you'll know because they are not interchangeable. So make sure if you're ordering a barrel, if it asks you, check your original, check your magazines. They will not work. Now that I've done that, let's take my bore brush. Some people say, don't push it through and then pull it back. You know what? I'm to understand you don't push it through to here and then pull it back. Go all the way through and push the bristles back and forth. And that gets down in there really, really well. You do that six, eight times. I said we had some pretty clean ammo today. So I'm not too awful concerned about it being really filthy, a lot of fouling. But I do to inspect it and it's hard to see down in there for you guys let me see if I can get a better look see all around through there 
And your feed ramp, you want to make sure that feed ramp is nice and clean. That's looking good. Oh yeah, it's a nice feed ramp. Nice feed ramp. Guys, I am sold on SIG. I got nothing against a MMP. I carried them for years, many, many years. I've carried Beretta for many years. Carried Glocks for a couple of years. And I carried FN for a short period of time. And the reason I quit carrying that 509 was because <clears throat> A, it had extremely weak, and I mean really weak, <laughs> forgive me, I'm getting over cold, extremely weak ejection, and it had a stupid, fully ambidextrous magazine releases. I hated that. I cannot stand that. Not on any gun. It gets in the way, and it gave me a lot of fits. And I mean a lot of fits trying to drop a mag. And it just aggravated me. <laughs> <laughs> the reason I quit carrying the Glock, why you might ask? Because the Glock has such a small trigger face, or not trigger face, a small, uh, oh crap, trigger guard, that's it. It has an extremely small trigger guard. And with shooting gloves, when it was cold outside and I was shooting outside, you couldn't really get your fingers in there. I didn't like that. So I said, forget it. I've had enough. I got the P320, <clears throat> fell in love with it, and then I just happened to see this one day over at uh, <clears throat> the Glock store in Nashville. So that's Lenny McGill's place, and if y'all haven't tried them out, he says the old-fashioned lane ranges are dead and no good. Well, I disagree. But if you want to get good training, that's a great place. You go one-on-one, -on -one, get one-on-one -on -one training. They do drills. I uh, learn teach you low light, no light. They teach you clearing rooms. It's really, really cool. But if you just got a gun like what I was doing today, the old-fashioned lane range, like over here in Hermitage, on target. And give them a shout out. They treat me well. They're close and I like them. Let's take a look at this. Not too shabby, huh? For a gun that's just going to sit in my uh, gun safe for a while. Because who knows when I'll shoot it again. I kind of feel bad that I didn't shoot my normal carry today. But I just didn't. Put a little bit of lubricant. Now this is, I don't even know if you can buy this anymore. Butch's Gun Oil. I bought that when? 1996. And I'm still using it. So I'm just putting a little bit of gun oil in here because it's going to sit in there. And even though there's no real moisture, so to speak, Sometimes I like to take and wipe down my cleaning rod. <clears throat> There's no real moisture to speak in my gun safe because I keep a dehumidifier in there. Just in case, I like to keep a little bit of oil on it. So, a little bit of oil in my barrel. I do that with all of my guns. Now, <clears throat> first thing we're going to do, take this, my slide, and put a drop of oil there. Drop of oil here and here, there and there. That looks good. So I got oil up in here, back here in the rail, there in the rail, there in the rail, right on the top. Set that to the side. Take a little bit of oil, get it on my finger, run it around my barrel, paying close attention to the shiny spots. Make sure you get some up in that little cavity right there. See it? Right here. Some up in that cavity. 
Then before I put it back in, make sure I put some here where the hood rides and right along in there. You guys, I don't want to hear anything dirty or perverted coming out of your mouth about what I just did. Put your spring back in. Now on the P320, you'll notice that it had a different guide rod. It can only go in one way. This is round, so it can go in any way you want. Now, I know I just put some lube on that, but I'm going to put some lube on this as well. One drop inside there. One drop inside there. This still has lube. This still has lube. And a little bit right there. Rub it around. Voila. Line up my guide rails with my slide. Going in nice and smooth. You don't want any force. Lock it back. Pop it down. Release it. Drop it. I love that slide. I mean that. Uh, what do you call it? Decocker. Absolutely love it. Wipe the gun down. Check for function. Let reset. Oops, oh well. Reset. Reset. Alrighty guys, works great. So now, that's how I clean my 6R P229 Legion. Hope you guys got something out of this video. See you on another one.